My name is Dr. Ryan Norgie here at Mill Creek Chiropractic, and I have the pleasure to actually come down and interview Wendy Judkins, the owner of CrossFit Snohomish down here in Miss Snohomish Valley. So what I'm actually gonna go over today is we're gonna go over three tips, how you can improve your lower back stretching, and this is something that you can do whether you work out at down here at CrossFit Snohomish, or you work out at home, or if it's something that even works into your regular activities of daily living. The great thing about what Wendy does here for her classes and her team is she teaches proper lifting techniques and things you can implement on your everyday activities in your everyday life. So we're going to go over to the three stretches that are the prime three or kind of the hot three that she likes to work in your regular activities. The first thing we're going to go over is a quad stretch. The great thing about this is she's going to show you how to do this. Whether you do it at home or you do it here at this amazing gym, you can do it with a couch cushion, couch pillow underneath your knee so it doesn't put, over, put that much stress on your kneecap as well. So if you actually look, she's in proper form, upright, strong, good straight, straight position, pulling up from the back part of her foot back to her glute, keeping her front leg in the straight position, making sure her knee doesn't go in front of her toe. That's gonna open up your glute, open up your hip, really stretch that front part of your quad. That's important whether, whether you're doing lifting, bending up, lift over the laundry, lifting things out of the dishwasher, or if you're lifting at work, if you're lifting heavy things with activities of daily living you're doing, those are really important. The second thing we're gonna go over is a hamstring stretch. So a hamstring stretch is gonna be something that you're gonna do that's gonna open up the hamstring, the muscle that goes from the back part of your glute all the way down to the bottom part of your knee. Now, if you see when she gets in that proper position, you can see her, her left foot is coming inside and bringing it in towards her posture and in towards her body, and her opposite leg is gonna come out front, being really straight in front of her position. If you actually look at it, her chest, her center of her body keeps over the center of her position and her head comes out forward. That's gonna open up the muscle and elongate the muscle and allow the to stretch. So like we talked about before, if you're doing a lifting position, lifting around the house. So if I'm lifting out laundry out of the laundry out of the laundry, uh, laundry machine, if I'm lifting, bending things, picking up groceries off the ground, if I'm doing deadlifts, power cleans here at CrossFit Snohomish, that's also gonna elongate that muscle and allow that stretch to that. The third and final stretch or tip that we're gonna give you is this is gonna be something to open up what's called your glutes and your hips. She's gonna do what's called a piriformis stretch or a hamstring stretch that's gonna open up her glutes and get them function moving better. This is gonna be something that you're gonna do on your back. If you actually look, she's amazing at this. Her hands are actually gonna reach in and grab that inner part of her leg behind her knee and she's gonna pull that leg towards herself which is gonna stretch that opposite glute and opposite hamstring. So that's gonna do it, which is gonna be really good when you're explosion. So running, lifting, bending, chasing kids around your house, those types of things that we all do on a regular basis. These are gonna be all things that are gonna really help open up that area and get it function moving better. Like I said, whether it's you're working out at CrossFit Snohomish, whether you're at home, those are gonna be all things that you can build into your regular workout routine, whether you're doing them at home, whether you're doing them here, and it's really gonna get your body functioning and moving exactly how it needs to and elongate those muscles. These are three tips that you can implement immediately into your regular activities of daily living so you can have a better, healthier lower back today.